The views and opinions expressed by the speaker, host, commentator, or other third party in Arriva webinars, e-learning events, and or virtual masterclass are those of the speaker, host, commentator, or third party, and do not necessarily reflect and represent the views and opinions of Arriva. Furthermore, Arriva does not warrant, express, or imply the merchantability and fitness for a particular purpose of any product information, service, or process presented by the speaker, host, commentator, or third party, and Arriva specifically disclaims any legal liability or responsibility for the accuracy, completeness, or usefulness of any product information, service, or process presented. Finally, material or information presentation, opinion, process, or service by on any trade name, trademark, manufacturer, or otherwise during Arriva webinars, e-learning events, and or virtual masterclass do not constitute or imply Arriva's endorsement or recommendation of such opinion, process, service, item, or organization. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Arriva Academy's free live webinar this afternoon. And our topic is negotiation skills for labor relations, techniques for successful collective bargaining and conflict resolution. I'm Kate and I will be your host this afternoon. So before we get started, I have a few reminders just to make sure that our program will be running smoothly the whole afternoon. Arriva is committed to protecting your privacy, hence stricter security of this webinar has been implemented. So for better viewing of your Zoom experience, we encourage you to please update your Zoom application by visiting their website. And for those of you who are using their mobile gadgets to view this webinar, you can go to either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store so you can download and install the Zoom app. Now, I want to know, do we have participants here who's joining an Arriva Academy webinar for the first time? If it is your first time, can you type hi in the chat box? So let us know where you are located. Are you just here in Metro Manila? Are you somewhere nearby Metro Manila or in some provinces here in the Philippines? Let us know because I was informed you have a lot of participants from the provinces. We have a lot of friends who are watching us from Ilocosur, also from La Union, from Pangasinan, from Kalinga, from Ifugao, from Benguet, from Baguio. We have from Cagayan, all the way from Isabela, from Nueva Vizcaya, from Quirino, from Zambales, from Tarlac, from Nueva Ecija, also from Aurora, from Pampanga, from Bataan, from Batangas, from Laguna from Quezon Province, from Occidental Mindoro, from Romblon, even from Palawan, from Camarines Norte and Camarines Sur. Hello to our friends who are viewing us from Catanduanes, also from Albay, Sorsogon. We have participants who are in Aklan, in Capiz, in Iloilo, also from Negros Occidental, from Northern Samar, from Samar, from Leyte, from Southern Leyte, from Negros Oriental, Cebu, Zamboanga del Norte, Zamboanga City, Misamis Occidental, also from Lanao del Norte, Misamis Oriental, 
we have uh, from Bukidnon, from Surigao del Norte, from Agusan del Norte, and Agusan del Sur. Also from Cotabato, from Sultan Kodarat. Wow, from South Cotabato, from Davao del Norte, Davao Oriental, Davao City, Davao del Sur, and from Lanao del Sur. Wow, we have a lot of participants from Luzon from Visayas and from Mindanao. Good afternoon to all of our participants. And aside from our participants here in the Philippines, we also have participants who are viewing us from outside the Philippines right now. So I also would like to say hi to our participants who are in Malaysia, also from Nepal, from Qatar, from Singapore, from Tanzania, from Tunisia, from UAE, and also from Vietnam. Hello, welcome to Arriva Academy. And if you have attended in the past, of course, I'd like to say welcome back and thank you for still being here with us this afternoon. Now, I want to make sure that once our speaker is on screen, you will not be missing any part of his discussion. So let's do this audio check, okay? Please type 111 in the chat box if you can hear me clearly. You can also type 222 if you can't hear anything. Or you can type 2121 if you can hear me, but the sound is choppy, it's laggy, it's breaking up. Or you can type question mark if you don't understand what's happening. We will try to help you out. Let me check. I am seeing a lot of 111s in the chat box. Thank you so much for that. Later, we'll have a five-minute break. And let me tell you this early, that something exciting will be happening during that break time, okay? Because we're giving away prizes during that break time. But, but it will be exclusive for those who are part of the Arriva Academy Viber community. So if you're not part of the Viber community, this is what you have to do. Scan the QR code right now. You're seeing the QR code already scan that and that will bring you instantly inside our viber community again the prices that we'll be giving away later will be exclusive for those who are part of the viber community so for you to get a chance to win that prize join the viber community right now scan this qr code and we'll see you there okay i'll be making more announcements about that during our break time now, participants' microphones will be temporarily disabled by our administrator during the discussion, just to avoid interruptions. But for those of you who might have questions, we will have a Q&A portion before we end our session. All you have to do is click the raise hand button so you can ask your question directly to our speaker. Or you can also type your questions here in the chat box and then I will be reading them later. Now, an e-certificate of attendance will be awarded to participants who will successfully complete the entire virtual masterclass. And it will be available three to five working days after the learning session. Now, for you to ensure that you will really receive that e-certificate, please make sure that the email address you gave us is the correct one so that we can send it to you. And please make sure you also fill out the feedback form form the link for that feedback form will be posted in the chat box later during the session so once you see that fill out the form and then submit it back to us so that you will really receive your e-certificate okay there you have it now i'm ready to introduce our speaker let me read this our speaker for this afternoon studied at the University of the Philippines College of Law, University of the Philippines Los Baños, and he is also a distinguished alumnus awardee for labor law and economics. He was the host of Equal Justice at DZRJ 810 AM, Voice of the Philippines. He was a lecturer in mandatory continuing legal education of the Supreme Court. He's a, he was the president and legal aid attorney of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, Pasay Paranaque, Las Piñas, Montelupa City's chapter. And he was also a professor in Philippine Law School, a chief legislative officer of the Office of the Senate President Pro Tempore and Senate Committee on Labor, Employment, and Human Resources Development. He was also University Legal Counsel at the University of the Philippines. Our speaker is the founder of Paladins of Law. 
chapter member and past president of Rotary Club of Makati, McKinley, a member of People Management Association of the Philippines, and he is also a member of the Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas. He is a business lawyer and labor coach, a former executive director of the National Labor Relations Commission, and a founding partner of Sangalan and Gerlan Business Lawyers, and of course, a partner speaker and consultant of Arriva Academy. So ladies and gentlemen, let us now welcome our speaker, attorney Paul Sangala. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, attorney Paul. Good afternoon, Kate. Happy afternoon. Easter. Happy Easter, attorney Paul. Yes, happy Easter, everyone. Thank you for inviting me again. Dito po sa ating uh, free webinar <laughs> ng Ariba. And uh, Miss Kate, uh, thank you for your introduction. Your kind introduction is much appreciated. And uh, sabi mo kanina, galing uh, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao ang ating mga viewers. Not mga just that, we have a lot of participants outside the Philippines right now. Even outside the Philippines, wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, international pala tayo. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, Miss Kate, can I start? Uh, because we have only one hour, no, or more. Very or less. eager to listen to you, attorney. Uh, can I start uh, sh uh, sharing my screen? My, yes, my, please. Okay, sandali lang po, and uh, allow me to pull up my deck. Okay. While waiting, kumusta ang ating uh, Easter, ang ating Holy Week, Miss Kate. <laughs> Very fun and relaxing. <laughs> and yeah. rest. Ako, sa bahay lang ako eh. Oh. <laughs> was traffic. Anyway, uh, let's start. Uh, I'm sure everyone is uh, who, who is viewing is interested in this topic for various reasons. No, For various reasons. Pag sinabi kasi nating negotiation skills, no, it's situational. Negotiation skills should be applied on a case-to-case, -case, on a per-situation basis. Kasi ito po mga skills and techniques na to ay hindi applicable in, in all situations. Kasi uh, depende po yan kung sino ang who's sitting at the other end of the table, of the negotiating table. Depende po yan. Uh, negotiation skills can be used uh, in situations like sale, no, may gusto kayong ibenta or may gusto kayong bilhin. So we can use that. Uh, pag pumupunta po tayo sa, sa bargain, ayan, sa, mga, sa palengke, and we do shopping, sometimes negotiation is allowed. Diba? And we, we bargain, tatanong natin, anong last price mo? Last price nga, what's your best price? Diba? So you can use that. Also, in other commercial situations like uh, lease, nag-negotiate tayo ng lease, either we're the lessor or we're the lessee, di ba? whether it's a, for a commercial space or whether it's for a residential space. And many other uh, situations, even loan can be negotiated. So these are commercial situations. Now, we're not talking about those kinds of situations. We're talking about situations wherein there's employer-employee relationship. In short, labor relations. And that requires a different kind of mindset, a different kind of approach. And even in employer-employee relations, there are several situations. Like if you will look at this, uh, this slide, um, Techniques for successful collective bargaining. Do you know what collective bargaining means? Now, collective bargaining is a, a technical word. It's a term used when management is negotiating with the union or with the representatives of the workers. No, so it's called collective bargaining because the union is representing the entire population of workers no, that would be benefited by the terms and conditions of the collective bargaining agreement. At the end of the day, if it's going to be a successful negotiation, we will have a CBA 
or a collective bargaining agreement wherein the signatory is the union, who, which is representing the workers, and the management, which is representing the employer. That's why it's called collective bargaining, as opposed to individual negotiation. Individual negotiation happens when an individual employee negotiates with the management. And usually what, uh, what results is an employment contract or a modification or amendment or supplement to their employment contract. No, so the employment contract is the result of the individual bargaining or in the individual negotiation. The CBA, the Collective Bargaining Agreement, is the result of the collective effort of management and union to have terms and conditions that are applicable to several employees, to a group of employees being represented by the union. And of course, iba rin yung situation when we are dealing with conflicts, no? If there's a grievance, if there's a, a, a complaint already, if there's a labor case, the, the situation calls for a different approach, a different technique. No? So situational po yan, case to case. And uh, by the way, uh, I have a law firm uh, and I'm a founder of the Sangalang and Garland Business Lawyers. Ito po kaya, nakalagay po dyan. And uh, we, we go by the name Paladins of Law. So let's go to the next slide. Now, since we have limited time, more or less one hour lang po tayo, and then we, we hopefully meron pa tayong Q&A, open forum at the end of this uh, short session, I will be um, concentrating, focusing on the fundamentals, no? the essence, the basics. So this is... Labor Management Negotiation 101. There's a longer course for this, but it will require more than one hour. No, so pardon me, if medyo ano po tayo, we will just go into the essence of labor management negotiation. Now, since this is foundational, kailangan pong correct yung mindset natin when we approach negotiation. Whether we are management side or union side or let's say worker side, we have to always think of this, that we are negotiating with a partner. Now, hindi po ito yung commercial negotiation na mag-negotiate kayo ng best price kung may gusto kayong billing uh, item or property or um, let's say mag magbabaro kayo, yun yung negotiating your loan or you're negotiating your lease, no? it's not the same. You're negotiating with a partner. When we say partner, isipin nyo ako, sino ba, meron ba kayong mga life partner? Do you have husbands? Do you have wives? It's like similar to that, no? negotiating with someone na you will be encountering most of the time, di ba? When you have employees, or when you are an employee, you would be, always interacting with the management no? as long as you're employed. When you are the management side, you will always be interacting with the employee as long as you have your employer-employee relationship. So it's, it's, uh, it's negotiating with someone who is close, intimate, someone you have a, a closer relationship with a commercial uh, um, partner. No? Okay, so that's that's we that's something that we have to keep in mind. No, now, anong ibig sabihin nun? Anong implication if you're negotiating with a partner? No, when it, when you're doing that, medyo ano yan, Medyo emotion can run high. Yeah, and if things does not does not go out uh, well, no. Pwede kayong magkaroon ng grievance and uh, pwede kayong magkaroon ng disputes. Pwede kayong magkaroon ng labor case and in some situation when there is an organized union, you can have strikes in your workplace. You know, work stoppage, shutdown of your operation. So first things first, in labor management negotiation, important now we have to define your goal. When you step in, when you negotiate, when 
before you open your mouth, before you write anything to the other side, to the employer, to the employee, whichever side you are in, no? whether you're worker side, union side, or management side, define your goals first. Kailangan pong ma, ma, ano, ma, maging clear yan. No? Why? Because usually in a collective negotiation, let's say you are representing the management, marami pong opinion do sa team ninyo. Doon sa management team na lang, maraming opinion po kayo. Mar- you have your boss, you have your principal, you have the business owner, you have the CEO, and then if you are merely the HR or uh, uh, one of the lawyers or one of the representatives in the negotiation, you have to know what is the objective of your team, of your side. No? Kasi otherwise, uh, hindi po kayo magkakasundo. Baka paglabas ng agreement, whatever comes out of the settlement or the outcome, baka hindi happy yung mga kasama nyo sa grupo nyo, sa team nyo. In the same way, if you are also on the other side, the worker side, no, and you're negotiating collectively, you're part of like, the union, kailangan po malinaw din yung objective nyo kasi uh, pag nag-meeting kayo, baka iba't iba po ang opinion nyo. Eh. Iba't iba ang gusto nyo. Iba ang gusto, gusto nyo. Yung iba gusto nila ganito. Ganitong karami ang makukuha, ang magigain. No? Ganitong karami ang benefits, ganitong ka, taas yung increase. Sa management naman, ganun rin. Iba't iba rin yung idea. No? So, first of all, magkaroon muna kayo ng uh, meeting on both sides. No? So, what, whichever side you are sitting on. Have a meeting. Now, especially if you're not the owner of the company, important po yan kasi you will have pressures on all sides. You will have pressure from the opposite side of the table, yung, yung ka counterpart mo sa negotiation, and you will have pressure from your principal, no? the company that you're representing, the shareholders, the top management. No? Ang, ang hirap ng buhay ng isang negotiator because you, you, have, to make, uh, you, make, you have to make people happy. No? So what will make you happy? What is your goal? Now, to make it uh, just, just by analogy, no? Meron tayong sinasabi, di ba? You're negotiating with your partner. Have you heard of the saying, happy wife, happy life? Napakinig nyo na ba yun? Anong ibig sabihin nun? Anong, an- what, what does that mean? Happy wife, happy life. So if you're the husband, no? You want, you want to have a happy life? Make sure your wife is happy. Ganon rin yun if you're a BF. Yung GF mo, make sure she's happy. So, happy yung relationship. Ganon rin yun. If you're a father or a parent, happy children makes also for a happy happy parenting. And uh, in the same way, if you're the employer, happy employees, di ba? Will make sure that your business, your workplace is also happy. So, first things first. What will make you happy? Kailangan po, ano kayo? Of one mind. Yung side ninyo, yung team ninyo. Then we go to the next fundamental, which is, ito dapat nakapose ito sa ano, dapat naka ano to eh. Kung pwede, itato nyo to sa, sa ano nyo, sa, sa hearts and minds ninyo. No? That relationship matters. Relationship matters. Why? Because you're, you're negotiating with people who you'll be dealing with day in, day out. No? Each day, whether remote, kahit naka-remote kayo, hybrid work, no, or face-to-face, in-person, on-site, no? you'll be dealing with them. So relationship matters. So And because of that, you have to know something about human nature, that people have emotions and feelings. No? And emotions and feelings sometimes during negotiation pag na-stress ka because uh, paikot-ikot, walang nangyayari because hindi mo nakukuha yung gusto mo. No? Uh, emotions flare up. No? Uh, anger, frustration. We say hurtful words. 
harsh words. And then, ano na po yan? Sunod-sunod na yan. Avalanche na yan. It will snowball and and then mag-walk out na kayo doon sa conversation nyo. You, you, you uh, experience this. All of us have experienced this in dealing with those who are closest to us, yung mga intimate someones natin, yung special someones, when we have arguments, when we don't see eye to eye with them, sometimes we shout, even though we don't mean to, but bigla na lang, no, napapasigaw tayo, and then no offend yung kausap natin. We say hurtful things that we regret later, na sana hindi natin pinasabi. And then, ayan, tampuhan na. Cold shoulders or away na, A- ano ka na. Outside of di ko lang buka na. Yung mga, mga ganyan. No? Or with our children, no? if you, your parents, or if you're a child and you're may parent kayo, you've experienced that when you have arguments with your parents. no? Although you don't mean to, but sometimes nangyayari. So this is an important reminder for all of us, so when we're negotiating, whether you're on you know, the employer side or you're on the employee side, ano ba ang mas importante? No. Isipin natin, ano ba ang importante? No. Kaya importante yung isipin muna natin, what will make you happy? Diba? That's the first thing. And then second, we have to remember that relationship matters. Now, of course, iba na yung situation. Pag talagang nag-split na, no? That's that's a different scenario. Like, for example, in dismissal, illegal dismissal cases or termination cases when there is no more chance of uh, reconciliation. No? Uh, iba na yung scenario, no? no? So, because, ano na yun, naghiwalay na eh. But as long as there is employer-employee relationship, we have to consider in having a good relationship with the people that we will be working with. Now, mind you, alam natin na in a labor case, in an illegal dismissal case, there's a possibility that the labor arbiter will order the reinstatement of the illegally dismissed employee. So what if bumalik siya, pinabalik sa company mo, no? at uh, hindi, yun ang naging final decision? So what do you do? No? You're stuck with an employee that you have illegally dismissed, but the labor arbiter ordered to be reinstated. No, so yun ang mahirap dyan, no? yung tinakaw nating strained relationships. No, so ang hirap non, napaka awkward ng situation na yun, that you have strained relationship and you're trying to work some with someone whom you had a labor dispute previously, and now nanjan ngayon siya sa company mo back again. No, that can happen, and that has happened in the past. In in many cases, no, when there's really illegal dismissal and the employees rank and file na reinstate po siya, in order po yung reinstatement niya. So, ano yung gagawin natin pag nangyari yun, di ba? So, kailangan po no, that um, we have to value uh, relationship. Now, ito naman, third fundamental, third fundamental thing that we should remember when we are already there, sitting, no, across, syempre may table yan, no, and you're, you're, to- you're, you're talking with your counterpart, there's a negotiation, no. Um, syempre, nag-prepare ka, no. Of course, kailangan yan, preparation. May position kayo. Let's say you're on the management side. You have your position. Ito yung position namin. Because nag-meeting na kayo, eh. You've met with your principal, you've met with your shareholders, you've met with the management, so alam nyo na, may position na kayo, meron na kayong goal, and you have defined what will make you happy. No, On the other hand, ganun rin, no? ganun rin. sa union side, sa worker side, uh, they, nag-usap na sila with their lawyers, with their advisors and everything, and they have their position. So each party that approach a negotiating table, meron niyang position if they come prepared no if they come prepared meron yung respective position now one common mistake of uh, parties in the negotiation is they will negotiate based solely on their respective positions so sabi ng management ito ang position namin eh uh, take it or leave it ay ganun ganun din ang sasabihin ng uh, side naman ng 
ng workers. E ito po, uh, walang, mawalang galang na po. Ito po ang position namin. At uh, hindi po kami papayag kung hindi po ito ma, maibigay sa amin. Ayan. So ano mangyayari dyan? Langit at lupa, no? Yung, yung hinihingi ng uh, workers, masyadong mataas yung kanilang expectation based on their position. And yung management naman, willing to give. But only hanggang dito lang, lupa, no? So how do you bridge the gap? Now, if you if you do that, na you negotiate based on your position, baka hindi po kayo magkakaroon ng successful negotiation. And both parties will just walk away without having any agreement. No? So it's a failed negotiation. One, one way to have a successful negotiation is ito nga po. Start with why. Or start with the why. Ano po yung ibig sabihin ng why? Bakit? Yung pong mga positions ninyo, whatever your position is, like say, sabi ng management, ito lang kaya namin ibigay. Sabi ng uh, worker naman, ng employee, ito ang gusto kong makuha. Diba? You have to ask yourselves, bakit yun ang position mo? Why? Why? Bakit yun? Punta po tayo dun sa bakit yun ang naging position mo in the first place. No, do then whether you're the employee, bakit 'yan ang hinihingi mo? Why? No, management, bakit 'yan lang ang kaya mong ibigay? Why? No, so start po doon sa why and you negotiate based on the why, not based on your respective position because when you negotiate based on the why, no, later on you will it is possible, it's more possible that you will successfully come to a situation wherein nagkapalagayan kayo na in, you understand each other's interests no what you, what i meant by interest let's say ito if you are an employer let's say i'm i'm part of the management i'm on the employer side ano ba ang interest ng employer interest ng employer is to have a feasible business sustainable business profitable business no that um Meron namang uh, reasonable, respectable profit, sustainable, that the company will survive, it will uh, be able to satisfy its client, meron siyang kahit pa paanong market share or kung may ambition siyang, um, may vision siya to become one of the leaders in the industry. So these are, these are the interests of the employer side. Ano ang gusto niya mangyari? Siyempre, trabaho lang, negosyo lang, survival, no? And kung may magandang kita, syempre lahat naman ang nagninegosyo eh gustong kumita rin. So those are the interests. Speak from that. Speak from the heart. Yan naman talaga totoo eh. And of course, your position is a reflection of your interests. ba? Diba? Now on the employee side, ano bang interest ng employee side? Syempre pamilya. Um, cost of living. Um feeling nila reward value na binabalyo sila. Diba? So these are these are the the interests if you are on the employee side, of course. And because of that, sinabi mo itong gusto kong sweldo, itong gusto kong benefits, itong gusto kong treatment, uh, how management should treat us. Diba? So yun po. So when when you and, and that's how you arrive at your position. Now pag inumpisa niyo yung negotiation with your position, baka wala po kayong marating. Try to start the negotiation by explaining uh, what you really want. What you really want to happen. I want, I want a peaceful workplace. I want uh, a sustainable business. I want to expand my business. Uh, ito yung mga consideration. And of course, uh, We consider the employees then. Uh, po. So when when you when you start talking on the basis of your interest, then it's possible. It's great. The success is greater that you will somehow find out a com- commonality of interests. No, wherein you share the same interest because tignan nyo, yung mga workers naman. I'm sure ayaw naman nilang mabankrap yung company. 
ayaw naman nilang mag-close down yung company. Gusto rin nilang maging successful yung business. No? Happy sila pag successful yung business. But of course, meron din silang needs. No? And I'm sure naman yung mga business, may puso naman ng mga employer and they also want to care. Lahat ng employer na kilala ko, lahat ng naging client ko na employer, they care for their employees. It's just that, of course, may mga limitations in terms of uh, kakayanan ng business. no? But nandun yun, nandun yung malasakit, nandun yung concern, nandun yung care. no? And when you talk about those common interests, no, there's a bigger chance that you would succeed and find a common ground, a compromise or a collaboration. Now ito, ito yung creative part. No? This is the creative part. Now once you have spoken from your heart based on your interest and you found na meron pala kayong common grounds na gusto nyo palang uh, tumulong sa isa't isa, both of you want to succeed, both of you want to have peace in the workplace, both of you want to have an agreement, both of you want to move forward na, na happy, happy, feeling happy kayo, no? No, ito naman yung creative part of the negotiation, which is think win, hindi lang win-win. Ha? Think win, win, win. Bakit triple win yan? Of course, don't think only about yourself. No, Based on your, you have your goals, you have your position, you have your interest. But don't only think about yourself because a successful negotiation, the successful negotiation, everybody wins. No, everyone, everyone has some gain, no? Although some you might lose some, but you you gain some. That's the essence of compromise, no? Or you you both you both gain, no? That's the essence of collaboration. So don't think only of yourself. Pag nagpo-propose na kayo ng uh, mga terms and conditions, hahanap kayo ng mga uh, arrangements that are uh, may gain kayo at may gain din sila, di ba? So, g- ganun po yun. That's how, how you reach an agreement, a successful um, conclusion of your negotiation. Now, bakit win-win-win? Why not just win-win? Diba? There's only the employ- employer side and the employee side. Bakit win-win-win? You have to think also of the other stakeholders in your negotiation. Sino po itong other stakeholders in your negotiation? Customers. Customers are also stakeholders in a business. Yung mga, yung dinideliberan nyo, na pinuprovidan nyo ng servisyo, ng mga products, no? Customers and clients are stakeholders. They also want good service. They want good product. And that can only happen if uh, the employer and the employee are of one mind and working to serve the interest of the customer or the client, di ba? Sino pa ang mga other stakeholders? The families. The families. Especially the dependents of the employees. Ano yung, what, what will make them happy? What will make them satisfied? No? So, ano pa? Environment. The environment is also a stakeholder. So we also titingnan rin natin what's good for the environment, what's good for the country, what's good for the community, what's good for those uh, other um, uh, people, entities that are affected by the decisions of your company. No, minsan kasi magandang merong common goal ang employer side at ang employee side. Especially pag meron kayong mission na, na buy-in, everyone is, has bought in, na meron, meron kayo, your company does not only, is not only interested in making profit, but also in making a difference no, to society. Now, if you can have that kind of vision na hindi lang pera, sahod at benefits ang pinag-uusapan nyo, but something na makaka-contribute kayo sa society, to community, to families, then meron kayong common mission. No? 
meron kayong common advocacy. And if you can share that, if management and, and the workers can share that, then collaboration can be much better. No? Kasi ano eh, hindi lang yung sarili natin ang, pinag- ang iniisip natin. Okay, so next is um, search, research, and research. Now, ito, may maraming mga techniques kayo makukuha on negotiation tactics from the book of Sansu, The Art of War. I also give a uh, one-day to two-day uh, workshop on Sansu's The Art of War. Si Sansu, by the way, is a, a general in ancient China during the 250 years ago, and he is attributed to have written a book on strategy. And the title of this book is The Art of War. However, if, if we're going to properly translate the book, it should be The Art of Strategy. Now, Sun Tzu is considered to be the, the father or the forebear for of strategy or strategic thinking. At marami pong principles, concepts si Sun Tzu na na maishishare sa atin if we read the book or if we listen to uh, to a podcast, watch the video, or attend a seminar or workshop on Sansu's The Art of War. So some of the basic things that he teaches us is research, research, research. And one of his uh, first uh, principle uh, under the Sansu's Art of War is know yourself, and know your enemy, no? But uh, that's in the context of war because Sansu is a general. But if we're if we're going to use it in the context of negotiation, no, or employer employee relationship, know yourself as management as employer and know your employee. Know them, no? Kailangan po natin kilala rin yung kausap natin, and that knowledge requires research also. On the part of the management side, yan po yung magkakaroon kayo ng strategic uh, planning. You have to know your strengths, your weaknesses, your your um, uh, opportunities and threats. No, This is uh, one tool that is used in strategic planning, the SWOT analysis, S-W-O-T. SWOT, SWOT stands for strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. No, That's how you find out who you are, no? You have to know who you are, your strengths and weaknesses. And you have to do the same same thing. You really research mo rin yung counterpart mo in the negotiation. No, you have to find out um, what makes them tick, ano yung interest nila, ano yung motivations nila, and, and other things that are relevant that can help you communicate with them better, negotiate with them, and... Uh, get what you want out of the negotiations. So, and another thing that Sansu teaches us is, uh, ito po yun, no? Ang sabi ni Sansu, avoid what is strong, attack what is weak. In short, hanap po tayo ng mga weak points. In a negotiation, hanap po tayo kung saan may opening, saan tayo pwedeng ma- ma- saan natin pwedeng makuha yung loob, makapag-convince tayo so that we can come to an agreement. no? And there are matters that are non-negotiable. And if we touch those things no, which are really non-negotiable, baka ibang, ibang galang natin ang mga ulo natin sa pader, no? and the negotiation will fail. No? So those are the two basics. No? There are other principles under the Sansu's Art of War but ito lang po, no? because we, are, we have only one hour for this. Ito lang masishare ko sa inyo. Search, research, research. Importante po yan. In short, prepared po dapat tayo when we uh, start the negotiation. And ito, number six of the fundamentals is numbers and facts matters. No? They are king. Ano pong ibig sabihin kong numbers and facts? No? Minsan, when we when we try to advance our position, no, makipag-negotiate po tayo, sabi natin, ito lang ang kaya ko. Ito lang ang kaya kong ibigay. No? Hanggang dito lang ako. Now, um, mahirap kasing i-convince ang isang tao na parang 
Ba't kita papaniwalaan, no? Bakit hanggang dyan lang ang kaya mong ibigay, di ba? Ayan. Or, or kung kayo naman ang nasa employee side, ito ang gusto ko. Ito ang ibigay nyo sa akin. Bakit, no? An- ano ang ano mo? Anong basis mo dyan? No? So, so yan. Ano yan? Hin- hinugot mo lang ba yan sa, sa ere? Saan mo yan? Saan mo napulot yan? Di ba? Bakit yan lang binibigay mo? O bakit yan ang hinihingi mo? Saan? Di ba? So, Importante po ito for advancing your position. More than, ano, in labor management negotiation, more than the law, more than the rules and regulations, mas importante po yung facts and numbers, hindi po yung batas. No, yung batas nandiyan yan, just to set the parameters, kung ano yung bawal at kung anong pwede, kung ano yung minimum at yung mga mandatory. Pero when you're in the negotiation, ang pinag-uusapan nyo, labas na po yan doon sa, sa batas. It's more than what the parameters is. So papasok na po dyan yung numbers and facts. Bakit yan lang ang kayang ibigay ng management? Bakit ito ang hinihingi ng employee? Anong basis? No? And then uh, after uh, coming up with those, those uh, basis, uh, of course, once you already have an agreement, ano yung ano? Pa- paano yung paano mo ma- ma- measure naman yung gain? No? Now, I'm talking about uh, collective bargaining agreement. In a collective bargaining agreement or an employment contract, let's say you negotiate an employment contract or you negotiate a collective bargaining agreement, ibig sabihin magsasama kayo ng management at yung workers magsasama for a long term, long period of time. You'd be working with each other. You'd be partners in, bis- in business, in the workplace, in, deli- in satisfying your customer and client. And of course, kailangan yung malaman, is this uh, agreement, is this arrangement that we have come up with, is this working? No? Is this really successful? So kailangan rin po na mamemeasure niyo yun. So if I, if I, for example, from the management side, if I give this amount, if I give this amount of, uh, of increase, if I give additional benefits, ano ba ang gain ko dyan? Siyempre, yung management, hindi naman yan basta magbibigay ng increase at hindi magbibigay ng benefit kung wala rin naman siya makukuha doon. So ano yung measurement? How do I measure that itong dinagdag ko sa sahod at dinagdag ko mga benepisyo is actually having a positive in- impact on the business? Anong measurements? No? So yun, those, those things have also to be put in place. Like um, for one, one simple uh, measurement. No? There are many measurements. There are many criteria. One simple measurement is pag nagbigay pa ako ng ganitong increase at ng ganitong uh, benefit, uh, ano ba ang, uh, ano, uh, in terms of absences and late, mag improve ba? mag improve ba yung attendance ng mga empleyado ko? Ayan, pag pag nagbigay pa ako ng ganitong benefit, ng ganito, ano, mag improve ba yung productivity? Let's say you, you measure productivity by uh, a certain percentage of output. Tataas ba yung productivity ng employees ko, ng mga workers ko? Mamumotivate ba sila to work faster, to work harder, to work more, work more efficiently if I give them this, this benefit? So yun kasi ang iniisip na gain ng management. Eh, no? Now, ganun rin, ganun rin. If you are on the part of the the employee or the union or the workers, no, pag hinihingi mo yan, syempre, isipin mo na lang na lagi naman yan, hindi naman yan pwedeng ano, free lunch. Pag may hinihingi ka, may hihingin rin sa'yo yung management. Kaya mo bang ibigay yung hinihingi ng management sa'yo na increase in productivity, better attendance, better pang quality, and whatever na the management wants from the workers, from the employees. Ganun po yan, give and take, no? And those things have to be measurable to determine kung successful ba talaga yung naging negotiation. Okay. Ito naman, the seventh principle, no? The seventh fundamental principle in uh, employer-employee negotiation. Okay, we will be having a break uh, in uh, by uh, within uh, in five minutes. No, let let me just uh, finish this uh, 
the slides. What if negotiation fails? Or kung hindi man failure, stalemate, no? Ano ibig sabihin ng stalemate? Yung both of you do not want to give way, no? Yung you, you stick to your position. Itong position ko, take it or leave it. Ganun rin yung management, itong position ko, take it or leave it. So, ano pong mangyayari? Walang agreement. Wala kayong napagkasunduan. So what if that happens? What if there's a stalemate? What if negotiation fails? What is your fallback? Ano pong ibig sabihin ng fallback? You have to imagine the scenario. So what if we walk away from the negotiation tapos walang naging agreement? You have to know the consequence. Anong pwede mangyari? Magkakaroon ba ng labor case? Magkakaroon ba ng strike? Magkakaroon ba ng grievance? Magka... What? Anong pwede mangyari? And you have to be prepared for it. Now, knowing what's going to happen in your worst case scenario, you have to run, run, run through the, those scenarios. No? What can happen? And then, uh, you have to now think, ano ang pinaka, kumbaga, ito na, last price. No? Na basta lang magkaroon ng agreement, papahiga ko hanggang dito. No? So, tone down mo na ngayon yung position mo. Hanggang saan ka pwede napapayag. No? Kumbaga yung last price mo. No? Because otherwise, talagang ready ka na to walk, walk out. Kung, kung hindi pa niya tinanggap yon, yung last offer ko, yung most, ang tawag doon, improve offer, the, the most, the best, the most improved offer that you can give, no? toning down, no? you, you, you downgrade already from your original position, then you're ready to walk out. Bahala na, sige. Away na tayo. Kung magpapile kayo ng labor case, magpapile kayo ng grievance, kung mag kayo, sige. Hanggang dyan ako. Pero hanggang dyan na lang ako. So, dapat ready rin po kayo dyan in the event of a stalemate. No? Okay, so, magkakaroon muna tayo ng 5 to 10 minute break. Miss Kay? Yes, thank you so much, Authority Paul. We'll see you after our break time. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. So now it's our break time. And I mentioned a while ago that we're doing something exciting. Okay, we're giving away prizes this afternoon. And it will be exclusive for those who are, who's already inside our Viber community. So if you're not yet a part of our Viber community, now's the time to do it. Scan the QR code. We'll give you a few minutes to do this. Scan the QR code. Okay, and once you're inside our Viber community, make sure to look for our Viber community admin, RV Arriva. Again, the name of our Viber community admin is RV Arriva because that is where you will be sending the answers. Okay, and we are going to play a game. So I hope everyone is in. Again, I'd like to remind everyone. We will only be accepting the answers sent through RV Arriva. If you're watching us via the live stream or via Zoom and you send your answers via the chat box, they will be um, they will be uh, they won't be honored, okay? We will not be reading them, only the answers through Viber. RV Arriva. Okay, so let's show them what game are we playing this afternoon. It's called Guess the Movie, and this is how this game goes, okay? We'll be showing you short clips or short trailers of some movies, and this is what you have to do. You have to send us the complete and correct title of that movie through Viber. Again, it should be RV Arriva. Send it directly to RV Arriva. You will not be able to send your answers through the GC in Viber, only through RV Arriva. Okay, and if you're the first one to get it right, what will you get? You will be receiving 200 pesos that will be sent straight to your GCash account. Yeah! Exciting! And we will have two winners this afternoon. So I hope everyone is already a part of the Arriva Academy Viber community. Let's get ready. Now, 
for us to be on the same page, let's do a trial run, okay? No price yet, but I want you to start guessing the title of this movie. What would you do? What would any of you be willing to do? Would you breathe the weird and haunted shores at world's end to fetch back Witty Jack? There you go. Okay, I'm checking the replies. You're seeing the replies as they come in and they're moving very fast. Let me try to catch up. Okay, here are your answers. Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Pirates of the Caribbean. Any other answers? The Pirates of Caribbean. Different spellings also of Caribbean. There's double R, there's single R, there's double B, and there's single B. Okay, so really different answers. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Okay. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. So those are the answers that you gave. Let's see what's the title of that movie. It is The Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Okay, now... Now you know what we're looking for. We're looking, we're really looking for the complete and correct title, okay? So there should be no missing words. There should be no extra words. All of the title should be there, okay? So I hope everyone is ready and you know what to do. I am seeing some answers being sent via the chat box. I would like to remind all of our participants via Zoom and also via the live streams, you can join this this game, but only through our Viber community, okay? We will be disregarding all the other answers sent that's not in Viber. Okay, so let's get ready because this next clip will give you 200 pesos. Let's watch it. Look, a girl. Who said that? Hello. <gasps> you can talk. Hello, of course. It's all he ever does. <laughs> Lovely to make your acquaintance. Wanna see me do a trick? What happens when the last petal falls? The Nastel remains a beast forever. And we become antiques. What did you do to it? Nothing. Get out of here! Go! Okay, you are also seeing what I'm seeing right now, how fast the chats are coming in inside our Viper community. Thank you to everyone who's joining. Still seeing answers in Zoom chat box and also via the chat box in our live streams. Again, I'd like to remind our other participants, sayang yung pagpipe ninyo because we will be disregarding all of those except the answers that sent through Viber, okay. So again, look for RV Arriva and Viber to get it. Okay, and the answers I'm seeing are Beauty and the Beast. Mostly everyone type, actually everyone type that. Beauty and the Beast and also there's Alice in Wonderland. Okay, let's see what is the title of that movie. It is, he has beauty and the beast. And the first one who got it right, we have Marjun Sibu. Congratulations, Marjun. You are our first winner this afternoon. And Marjun, we will be sending you 200 pesos to your Gcash account. So this is what you have to do, Marjun. Send your Gcash account number also to RV Arriva in Viber. And wait for your price. We'll be sending it to you this afternoon. Now, Marjun, because you've won already, you will not be able to join the game anymore because we want to give chance to your other co-participants. Okay? Thank you for understanding. And to the rest of our participants, some of you are saying you can't send a message in Viber community. Yes, I said that. You will not be able to send a message in the GC. You really have to look for rv arriva the viber community admin and that is where you will be sending your answers okay not in the gc in viber 
only to our Viber community admin, RV Arriva. Okay, I hope everyone, we are all on the same page because this is the last 200 pesos that we're giving away this afternoon. This might be yours. Let's watch this next clip. I saw water, death by water. That's on your life. A great flood is coming. We build a vessel to survive the storm. We build an ark. Mama, what is it? Oh, them. There you go. Okay. Still a lot to catch up on. Seeing Thor seeing aquaman seeing noah's ark i am also seeing noah different spelling of noah's ark there's with a k there's with a c for any other answers checking i'm bibilis mag send the messages <laughs> thank you so much so we are checking and Okay, so those are the answers. Noah's Ark, The Noah's Ark, Thor, and Aquaman. What is the correct title of that movie? Let's see. It is Noah. And the first one who was able to get it right. And she is our last winner. Aya, congratulations, Aya. Aya, you are 200 pesos richer this afternoon. Aya, send your GCash account number also to RV Arriva here in, in Viber, okay? Now, I'll be continuing with my other announcements. Again, thank you to everyone who joined this game. I hope you guys really enjoy that. Congratulations to our winners. Now, stay on top of our insights and updates. Stay connected with Ariva Academy, all you have to do is join Ariva Academy's Facebook group. You can also like our Facebook page. You can follow us in LinkedIn, and also you can check out our website, ariva.com.ph. And as I have been saying, if you had trouble joining the Ariva Academy Viber community a while ago, you will we'll still be giving you a chance so that the next time you join a free live webinar, you can join the game. But aside from that, you will also be getting a lot of perks, discounts, and also a lot of learnings from our Ariva Academy Viber community. So scan the QR code so that you can join the Ariva Academy Viber community already. Looking forward to seeing everyone there. Now, if ever you've missed the free live webinars that we started offering in the past, don't worry because you can all catch them via our YouTube channel. So all you have to do is subscribe to these channels, Ariva Academy and Ariva Talks. And I would like to say thank you to everyone who supported the free live webinars. We started offering them last 2020, right? As soon as the pandemic started, we offered the free live webinars already and we would like to continue offering it to the public so we are we would like to ask for everyone's help you can send stars if you're watching us via facebook or you can send your blessings through gcash so you can help us support this ongoing mission of sharing sharing our free live webinars to everyone so again thank you to all of our participants and to all of our partner speakers who supported our free live webinars from the start now for those of you who are interested in conducting in-house training program exclusive for your team or for your whole company we can help you out with that here are some of the programs that we offer but we have a lot more than that okay so all you have to do is give us a call or send us an email and then we will help you partner with the right speaker under Ariva Academy Speakers Bureau for that. Let me invite you to some of our upcoming learning events. Tomorrow we have another free live webinar that is April 4. The topic is the power of social media in modern HR. 24 strategies for leveraging social media to empower HR professionals. 
really interesting free live webinar tomorrow, so you can also join us. Now on April 11, we have effective delegation techniques for getting work done. April 12, the power of HR analytics. Also on the same day, April 12, credit and collection strategies that work. On April 17, we have advanced MS Excel training. April 18, supervisory leadership excellence. Essential foundations for HR administrative professionals on April 19. Now on April 24, we have empowering and inspiring millennials and Gen Z strategies for effective workplace engagement. Master cognitive biases and improve your critical thinking will also be on April 24. Now on April 25, high impact business writing mastery, elevate communication skills in the modern workplace. Labor and Employment Laws 101, that is our topic on April 26. Now on May 3, we have another free live webinar with a new topic, Addressing Workplace Bullying and Harassment, Creating a Safe and Respectful Environment for Employees. Social Media Marketing Strategy and Advertising Mastery, that is on May 9. Dollar Department Order 238-23, Provisions and Compliance, on May 15. On May 16, Critical Thinking and Problem-Solving Strategies for Effective Decision-Making. May 17, Strategic Performance and Compensation Management. We have Procurement and Sourcing Summit. Building Resilient Supply Chains on May 22, and it will be in SMX Convention Center, Aura, in Taguig City. And the following day, May 23 to 24, still in SMX Convention Center, Aura, Taguig, we have our 12 Secretaries and Administrative Professionals Summit. Okay, so this is a two-day summit. We've invited a lot of speakers to be with us on May 23 and 24, so please Join us there, be one of our delegates. And cultivating a positive personal and professional image in the workplace. We will be with former Binibining Filipinas Universe, Ms. Abigail Arenas de Leon as our speaker, and she will be with us on May 29. May 30, we have Leader Shift, navigating the transition from team member to supervisor. May 31, Customer Service Mastery, Elevating the Customer Experience. And I would like to invite all of our participants to join us on September 11 to 12. We will be in SMX Convention Center, MOA in Pasay for the Philippine HR Congress 2024. Yes, we are going back face-to-face -face for the Philippine HR Congress 2024. Again, it will be on September 11 to 12 already. There you have it. For those of you who'd like to join any of the learning events that I mentioned, all you have to do is go to our website, ariva.com.ph, so that you can register as early as now. Okay, now I'll be giving the floor back to our speaker, Attorney Paul. We are ready to listen to you again. Wow, babalik na pala yung HR Congress. Huh? Yes, exciting. Wow, I'm going to be there <laughs> yes attorney of course yeah. Power after so wala. many years after so many years no Since because the of pandemic, pandemic started it's the first yeah. time that we're going back to smx galing, galing. yes okay. okay allow me to share my slides and by the way uh if there are questions clarifications you can send your questions to miss kate uh so that if there is still time for uh, question and answers, we will we address. Can yes. yes. Okay, allow me to pull out my slides. Okay, saan ba tayo nag-stop? Dito. Yan. What if negotiation fails? So, again, ano to? Anong fallback natin dito? 
in a uh, in negotiation textbook this is called batna b a t n best alternative to no agreement no batna kung walang agreement if you're going to walk away from the negotiation empty handed no what what do you what would you offer ito na yung last price mo yung best price mo to make sure na at least hindi ka empty handed no or uh worst case scenario means alam mo dapat yung mangyayari if you really walk away from the negotiation table and walang walang agreement dapat ready ka na so but na what na so those are the uh, the things that you have to consider no so talagang ano forward looking pino forecast mo na in evaluate mo na what's going to happen if things doesn't turn out for the better in your negotiation now interestingly you also have to consider this what if negotiation succeeds ayan so attorney what if negotiation succeeds diba dapat happy tayo magre-rejoice tayo uh, celebrate diba however no as i mentioned at the start of our webinar This kind of negotiation is special. It is unique. Why? Because you have to prepare for pushback. Ano ba yung mga pushback? These are reactions, negative reaction, negative impact. Let me explain. Sino sa inyo ang bumili sa Shopee o sa Lazada, tapos pagdating, ano ba ngayon? 4-4 pa naman ngayon, di ba? 4-4, April 4. No, tapos bibili kayo ng mga mga promo, mga discount, tapos ang gaganda ng picture, tapos pagdating sa inyo ng product after na deliver. Yan. Expectation meets reality. Oh, anong pakiramdam nyo? No, once you receive the product and then hindi na meet your expectations nyo. No, what do you, what anong mararamdaman nyo? 'Di ba parang na-scam yata ako ah. Oh, nabudol. Nabudol yata ako dito. Di ba? Para kasama ng pakiramdam. Feeling mo niloko ka. Feeling mo tinake advantage ka. Feeling mo niscam ka. Ang sama ng pakiramdam nun. Now, whether you're on the management side or on the worker side, you sign an agreement, nag-negotiate kayo, and you think success. Pero may pushback yan eh. Pag hindi... Pag hindi ano, pag yung expectation mo hindi hindi uh, hindi mo na achieve, no, may pushback yan. There will be repercussions. Na for example, uh, uh, management hindi niya hindi niya nakuha yung inexpect niyang better productivity, better attendance, better punctuality. Uh, Be, uh, peace and order in the workplace, hindi na nakuha. Disappointed, syempre, yung management side because nag, uh, nagbigay siya or nag, uh, nag-give out ng mga whatever, no benefits, increases, uh, concessions, and things like that. no uh, Whatever payment na binigay niya, whatever solutions na binigay niya na hinihingi ng employee side pero hindi naman niya nakuha yung gusto niya. Hindi ma- hindi maganda yung feeling na yun. On on the on the other side, ganun din. Pag hindi rin nakuha ng employee, mga employees ng union, ng mga workers yung gusto nila. Ganun din yun. No, it's the same thing. So you have to manage. Hindi po natatapos ang negotiation. After magkapirmahan kayo, hindi po yung natatapos doon. Because this, you, have a, you have a partnership. You have a long-term partnership. The employer and the employee are partners in the workplace. And it's a long-term partnership unless you end it. And so there will be situations. Tuloy po yan. It's continuous. It's infinite. Wala pong katapusan yan. Walang katapusan na reklamo. Walang katapusan na... na frustrations parang mag-asawa din po 'yan halimbawa uh, pag laging panalo let's say yung uh, husband 
laging nasusunod, laging nasusunod, laging nasusunod. What do you expect would be the feeling of the wife? Pag feeling niya, lagi siyang sunod-sunod, sunuran lang sa husband. And the same way, ganun rin. What if yung wife naman ang laging nasusunod, 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 tapos yung husband, yes dear, okay dear, okay, sige, gawin natin yan dear. Darating yung feeling of resentment. Darating yung yung uh, yung yung frustration no eh, small yan at the start it's small but it will build up it will build up patong-patong yan habang hindi yan na-resolve habang hindi na-address yan tuloy-tuloy yan and that's one of the reason why there are broken marriages hindi yun one time big time na nagkaroon lang ng uh, third party ganun na no usually it doesn't it does not uh, It's not like that, no? Nagbigla na lang ng aliwa. Whoever, no? Ano yan? Siyempre, bago mga aliwa yung isang partner, bago, bago niya ibitre yung trust and confidence, yung trust and yung um, tiwala sa kanya nung, nung kanyang partner, maraming nangyari yan. That push him to that point wherein he would uh, commit that infidelity. No? It's, it's, it takes two to tango. No, it's a partnership between the employer and the employee. So be prepared for the pushback. Hindi although magandang mag-celebrate dahil may may napirmahan, may success, but it doesn't end there. Okay? And then the last uh, tip or technique that I would like to share with you is document your good faith. No? Kailangan <laughs> Pag uh, negotiation between employer and employee, whatever it is, may kasulatan, may papel, may, may, may documented po yan. No, importante yung document kasi people can people change their mind. No? And uh, mahirap yung shake hands, yung gentleman's agreement sa mga ganito yung situation. Well, kung sa, kung sa intimate uh, special someone ninyo, like your husband and what, wife, children, uh, Uh, life partner nyo, boyfriend, girlfriend, hindi na naman kayo nagpipirmahan dyan, no? because you trust each other. But in an employer-employee relationship, although you're intimate partners in the workplace, kailangan pong dokumenta dyan. Important yan because if uh, there would be disputes, there would be, yun nga, expectation versus reality. Ano yung pinirmahan nyo? Ano yung pinagkasunduan nyo? Balik kayo doon. So whether it's a collective bargaining agreement, whether it's an employment contract, whether it's a uh, Um, a minutes of a meeting na nagkaroon kayo ng arrangement on how to move forward, let's say um, discussion regarding performance, appraisal and evaluation, dapat po documented dyan para po malinaw. Kasi uh, we don't know, there might be a legal dispute or a grievance that can reach the courts or or the labor department, mabuti po may mga document patient po tayo. Now, document your good faith is an acronym. The word document is an acronym. It stands for for this document, document, document. Uh, always document. And uh, whether you're on the employer or on the employee side, more so if you're on the employer side, important po ang pag-document because this, this documentation is uh, not only um, memori- memorialize your agreements but it serves also as evidence in a worst case scenario that there would be an actual legal dispute no and then letter o is open mind open mind so ito nga kailangan pong magkaroon tayo ng new way of thinking hindi po ito yung yung uh, mangbubudol tayo ng kapwa no dapat po open minded tayo alam natin to this is a long term partnership between the employer and the employee whether you're the employee hindi po maganda mambudol ng management. Kung kayo po ay management, ganun rin. Kasi long term po ito, it's a partnership in the workplace. Clarity is also important. Kailangan pong malinaw yung pinag-uusapan natin. Kaya sabi ko nga, important na may goal. Yun yung number one. On whichever side you are, you must have a goal even before you start negotiating, even before you open your mouth or bite something. You have to have a clear goal. What will make you happy from that negotiation? Yeah. Clarity. And aside from clarity, important rin po yung, uh, alam natin yung perspective natin dito sa situation ito. 
you understand labor law principles. Although we did not discuss labor law principles because that's a topic of another webinar or seminar, important po na alam po natin yung mga basics. No? The basics is that, of course, uh, meron tayong mga security of tenure. We have to know the concept about security of tenure. We have to know the concept about uh, yung mga mandatory benefits. Um a principle of non-diminution of benefits. These are labor law principles, the no work, no pay principles. These are all labor law principles. And it's good to have some knowledge or working knowledge of labor law principles because although hindi siya pinaka-crucial, but uh, it will guide us in what can be negotiated and what cannot be negotiated. Kasi may mga mandatories po. And then letter M, which is the heart of uh, this presentation, is Master Human Relations. A human Relations, pareho ko siya ng initial ng HR, Human Resources. No? But we're focusing on Human Relations. When we say Master Human Relations, we should know, we should know how to treat another human being. No? And since uh, post-Easter ngayon, katapos lang ng Easter Sunday, let me share with you some universal messages of Easter, of, from the Bible, from the scripture, no? regarding human relations. Diba? We all know, alam naman natin yung golden rule, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. That principle, which is universal, which is biblical, is also fundamental in negotiation and in employer-employee relation. Yung reverse nun is also true. Do not do unto others what you do not want others to do unto you. It's the golden rule. And that's also the golden rule in negotiation. When you try to have mutual gains, di ba? Pinag-usapan natin yon. Relationship matters. Think win, 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 win. And, uh, of course, yung, uh, yung, uh, yung speak from the heart, from your mutual interest, find your mutual interest. No? Also, which is universal, hindi lang po ito from, from Christian uh, tradition, pero yung the, one of the greatest commandment of God in the Bible, He says, uh, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Diba? It's the same as the golden rule. No, love your neighbor. Sino ba neighbors? Di ba ito yung mga partners natin? Ito yung mga kapitbahay natin? Sino ba neighbors natin? Hindi naman yung kapitbahay sa community, but kapitbahay natin sa workplace. Those who, who we usually interact, we coordinate, we communicate with, these are our neighbors. And who are our neighbors? These are our employees, our workers. And if you're an employee, sino ang neighbor mo? It's your supervisor, it's your team leader, it's your manager, it's your boss, it's your employer. These are your neighbors. So love your neighbor as yourself. Same as the golden rule. Do unto them what you want them to do unto you. And of course, yung uh, sinabi rin ni, ni, uh, ni Jesus, di ba? he said, I'm going to give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. And how did Jesus love us? Sacrifice. No? So ano pong ibig sabihin ng sacrifice? Ito yung essence of compromise. You give and you gain something, you lose something. No? Bigayan. Bigayan. Sa mag-asawa, yun yung sinasabi ng mga pare pag, nag, <laughs> pag kinakasal, eh, magbigayan kayo, di ba? Ganun rin po. Ang employer at employee, magbigayan. And that's the essence of uh, negotiation. And that's best practice. Pasok tayo din sa best practice. Pasok din tayo sa best practice. Because those universal principles, that is, hindi po yan monopolize ng, ng Christian faith. No? Even in other religion, andyan din po yan. Yung, uh, uh, yung care and love and service for others. No? Bakit po itong religion merong ganyan? So it's a universal uh, principle. Ang sinabi ko lang po, of course, I, I came from the uh, Christian faith. That's why dun po yung basis ko. But that's best practice. That's a best practice. And never forget to negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. Until uh, mag-walk uh, experience ko po ito, personal experience, nag-walk out na from the negotiation table. Does it mean tapos na? Failure na yung negotiation? Hindi. No? I've done it. I've seen it many times. 
Huwag nating pa- pairalin yung pride, no? Reach out, no? Reach out. Kasi pag nag-walk out yan, ang sabing tapos, hindi pa yung tapos. Hindi pa yung tapos, pwede pa rin. Pwede pa rin mag-reach out, no? Like, for example, in a, in a labor case, no? One, assuming talagang worst case scenario, hindi na, na, hindi na, nego- hindi na na-negotiate, nag-file na ng case. Ano bang ginagawa sa labor? Unang-una, Sena. Single entry approach mediation. Pagdating nyo naman sa labor, ganun pa rin naman. Mag-negotiate pa rin kayo eh, sa Sena. Pagdating nyo sa labor arbiter or sa, or sa hearing officer ng dole, Ganun pa rin naman, pag-aharapin kayo, mag-uusap kayo, pag-uusapin kayo, susubukang within the bounds of the law, subukang magkaroon ng amicable settlement. Diba? So, negotiation skill is something that you should invest on and should be fundament- one of the fundamental skills that everyone should have, whether you're an employer or an employee. Actually, hindi pa nagtatapos doon. Kahit nga may decision na, I have Lots of experience wherein there's already a decision, final na, and then we're still negotiating. Bakit? Paano mo maninegotiate yun? Eh, final na yung decision. Di ba? Attorney Paul, final na yung decision. Ano pang maninegotiate yun? Pwede maninegotiate yun kasi hindi pa doon nagtatapos. Alam nyo ba? Magsishare pa yan. Hindi naman voluntarily, basta-basta, ibibigay ng employer yung award. Eh. No? Kukuha ka pa ng sheriff. Ipapasheriff mo pa. So, Mas maganda yung voluntary. So, minsan naninegotiate yun. Oh, sige, voluntary ako magbabayad, but can I get some minor concession? Pwede naman yun. No? Nap- nap- napapag-usapan yun. Lahat ng bagay napapag-usapan within the bounds of the law. Take advice from experts. So, uh, there are many negotiation experts, legal experts, uh, human relations experts, uh, Uh, you can you can um, hear from them other tips on how to uh, negotiate in this special kind of situation when there where there's employer employee relationship okay so miss kate um para magkaroon tayo ng time for open forum i will uh, end my session kasi baka may gusto magtanong mga specific situation yes Yes, okay, so we are now opening the floor for Q&A. If you have questions, you can type them here in the chat box. Or if the question is sensitive in nature, you can send the question directly to me so that when I read it, I will not be reading your names. Okay, so let me start. I have a few questions already here, Attorney Paul. Let me read the first one. Okay. Here's the first question. Attorney, how can we make sure everyone feels good about the decisions we make together in labor negotiations? Mm. Yeah, so uh, thank you for that question. Basically, we go to the fundamentals. How do we make sure that everyone feels good? Uh, first things first, we cannot please everyone. Um. Meron talagang mga tao na na ano, di ba? Uh, are not satisfied. But uh if we're collective doing a collective bargaining, no? The majority is enough. Uh, it's recognized under the law and recognized siya ng uh, Department of Labor and Employment that uh, uh majority wins. Kasi alam nyo, yung collective bargaining agreement it has to be ratified. Halimbawa, at, at nag-ano na, nagkaroon uh, na ng uh, agreement yung negotiating panels, management side and union side, no? Iraratify pa yan. Iraratify pa yan ang membership ng union. Iraratify pa yan ang board of directors. And during the ratification process, there might be uh, some workers who would not like the outcome. There might be some members of the board of directors that do not like the outcome. However, majority wins. So, ganun po yun. Now, th- that's for the purpose of just sealing the deal. But it does not end there. As I mentioned, oh, after the negotiation comes the administration. No? Wala pong katapusan yan. Continuous po yan. Continuous... Uh, improvement of your relationship. So, tuloy-tuloy lang po yun. And probably during the, that period, after you have come up with the, that uh, agreement, 
uh, tuloy-tuloy lang. Tuloy-tuloy lang yung reaching out, especially do sa mga nag-voice out ng reservations or oppositions do sa, sa agreement. Tuloy-tuloy lang yung pag-reach out sa kanila. So it's it's a process. Okay, thank you. I'm seeing some questions here in the chat box and Zoom. Let me read this question from Mark. Talaga po bang may bayad ang union as a rank and file legal lang ba ang union fee kada cut off? Yes. Uh, opo. Uh, ganit, nasa batas po yan eh. Uh, whether you're a member or not a member of the union, as long as that union is recognized as the certified, sinesertify po yan ang dole, sinesertify po sila that the sole and exclusive bargaining agent of the workers in that particular uh, bargaining unit. May tinatawag po tayong bargaining unit and that's the population of the workers that are represented by the union and yung population na yon consists of members of the union and non-members of the union. Whether you're a member or not, if you are part of that population, ang tawag doon the uh, bargaining unit, if you're part of the bargaining unit, then the union represents you. Kahit hindi po ikaw member. And as uh, part of uh, being that population, the union is representing you, negotiating for you and fighting for your rights. The union is entitled to have ito pong tinatawag na union dues, union fees. And that is uh, part ng agreement po yan sa collective bargaining agreement na, na ibabawas po yung uh, mga dues na yan from the members and the non-members. At yan po ay isusulit ng management sa union. It's part of the agreement. Thank you so much for that. Here's another question. Okay, about the termination of an employee, specifically from a teaching institution, can we terminate an instructor or teacher due to misconduct, even though this person has satisfac satisfactory performance with his teaching evaluation? Mm. Okay, medyo hot topic na yan. <laughs> However, uh, sige, uh, let, let's uh, entertain the question. So, maganda yung, tama ba, Miss Kate? Maganda yung performance niya. Yes. That's good performance, pero may misconduct. Tama ba? Yes, yes. There's a misconduct. Um, yes, of course. Uh, if the misconduct is serious, uh, nak nakalagay po yan sa, sa labor code, serious misconduct or gross misconduct is a, is a just cause for the dismissal of an employee. It's in the labor code po and in most uh, company policies. Now, the misconduct has to be serious or gross in character. Hindi lahat po ng misconduct ay serious. Meron po tayo mga minor misconduct, mga minor infractions. Hindi po yun ang uh, 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 just cause or proper ground or valid ground for the termination of an employee. It has to be serious. Ano po yung mga uh, forms of serious misconduct? Like serious form of sexual harassment. So if this is a teacher, example lang to, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, accusing anyone or that particular teacher that you have in mind. Just an example, uh, a teacher um, uh, performing some uh, sec uh, sexual uh, sexual harassment acts. Maraming klaseng sexual harassment acts, eh, groping uh, and uh, other things. No? Um, yung mga green jokes na talaga namang uh, scandalous no so in front of them so these are uh, can be considered as uh, gross or serious misconduct and especially pag na scandalize pa yung, yung students and yung parents no so pwede po yan maging ground for uh, dismissal okay thank you for answering that question and for helping out that participant now before i read the other questions just would like to remind all of our participants whether you're in zoom or watching via live streams you for you to receive your e-certificate again for you to receive your e-certificate make sure you fill out the feedback form the link is already in the chat box we'll be posting it again 
just fill out the form and then submit it back to us. Only those who will be filling out the feedback form will be receiving their e-certificates. Okay, so please take note of that. I'll move on to the next question. This one is from Kenneth Garcia, attorney. Considered who ba na registered mail ang LBC and the JNT Express? Okay. Well, uh, hindi po sila registered mail, pero uh, ano na po sila? Uh, accepted um, alternative to registered mail. No, ang what's important po dito? Um, why registered mail is considered as the uh, mode for sending notices is because ang registered mail po meron po siyang return card. That's the only reason. Kasi po yung return card, that's the proof of receipt. Ang pinaka-important po dito is that notices, letters, ito po mga memos na ito ay may proof of receipt kayo. Yun po ang pinaka-essence dito. Meron kayong evidence na na-receive ng employee. Kasi kung hindi po yan na-receive, madaling gumawa, madaling, madaling mag-manufacture, madaling mag-fabricate ng mga notices so, now, what if nahirapan kang magpa-receive, di ba? So, that's why registered mail, meron po siyang return card, tapos may certification pa yun ng post, postman, yung, yung mailman, sinesertify nila yan, kaya po acceptable yan. Now, if there are other ways na meron din pong proof of receipt similar to a registered mail, then that is also acceptable. So let's say uh, yung mga commercial courier, pag meron po silang way to report kung na-receive ba talaga o hindi, na-deliver ba o hindi, that can be used as evidence of uh, ano, of delivery and receipt of the notices. Okay, thank you for that question. Here's another question. Okay. Uh, this one's, re I think, a bit personal, attorney. Attorney, how will I deal with my emotions during negotiation? Especially uh, okay. if both parties are agitated and we don't want to agree with one another. Mm. Yeah, very, very nice, very nice question. I, I forgot to uh, discuss that. No? Uh, second, ano yan eh, second fundamental that the uh, relationship matters. Mm -hmm. So, uh, maraming ways, but um, importante po dito, remember, time is your uh, ally, your best friend. What I, what I mean by time? Mag time out ka. Time out. No? So, halimbawa, heated na yung discussion. Wait, no? wait for a while. Yeah, you, you, will, you will see that uh, in, in the Senate and in the House. Pag nag-aaway yung mga congressman, yung mga senator, ano yes. yung mga Senate... Uh, uh, Magdi-declare siya, one minute recess, di ba? Yes. Uh, ano po na, one minute recess. So, gan ganun rin po. So, pag tumataas na po yan, yung mga emotions are running high, sumisigaw na yung mga tao, uh, nagpapalpitate na, nangigigil na, lumalabas na yung mga veins mo dito, <laughs> sa leeg, di ba? Kaya, signal na yon oh, time out muna tayo. Ganyan. So, yun nga lang, uh, easier said than done. No? Mm -hmm. Kasi when you're at, at, at that moment, gigil na gigil ka, di ba? You, you want to lash out, you want to shout. Uh, yeah. So, easier said than done. But, uh, kaya nga sabi ko, dapat may meron kang some, something na itatato mo dito, ipapaskill mo. Relationship matters. <laughs> sa, dito po. Sa, thing, oh, sa noo, ganyan. Relationship matters. Para laging Ah, kalma lang, kalma. Uh, either kung, kung pwedeng kalmahin mo ang sarili mo, sabi mo, ano muna tayo, break muna tayo. Hindi, hindi walk out, ha? Minsan yung walk out, nakakainis yun, yung tatalikuran ka. Tapos, Lalo nakaka-agitate. Ah, ah, ka nag-walk out, sabi ako, ba't ba 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 tatalikuran? <laughs> diba? Minsan, tumatalikod tayo kasi ha, ayaw na natin palakihin. Pero before ka tumalikod, sabi mo muna, teka, ha, hindi ako mag-walk out, ano muna ako, ah, uh, Break, ano muna tayo? Time out, recess. Hindi to walk out, ha? Ganyan. Hindi to walk out. Papalamig lang kasi feeling ko, ano na eh, na-agitate na tayo. Yan. Huwag kang basta tatayo, taalis. 
Lalo ko na galit yun. Oo, oh, okay, yun. So, uh, yan, yan. Uh, ano lang yan, practical tips. Thank you, thank you so much for addressing that. I'm sure a lot of our participants found that really helpful. Not just for negotiating in the office, but also in their personal lives. <laughs> they can use that. Okay, I'll move to the next question. Here is another question from our participant. In case the parties, parties had a written compromise agreement, however, the settlement was not executed by the respondents, what would be the best thing to do? Ayan. Okay, so if the compromise agreement is submitted uh, to the labor arbiter or to whoever, no, uh, to the judge or kung sino man yung uh, namamahala nung uh, dispute, no, and it is made part of the decision, meaning the decision is based on the compromise agreement signed by the parties. What can be done in case of violation of the agreement is to file a motion for execution. Kasi it's already the decision of the case. Eh. No, nangyayari yan. Uh, so uh, you file a motion, sasabihin mo, uh, there was a decision by this labor arbiter, by this judge, or by this tribunal, that is based on a compromise agreement signed by the party. Unfortunately, the other party did not comply with this uh, undertaking under the compromise agreement. We therefore ask that the judgment be executed. So, yun po yun. Now, ang problem dyan is if yung compromise agreement nyo ay hindi submitted as part of the decision, hindi siya naging part ng decision. Pinirmahan nyo lang tapos extrajudicially hindi siya naging part ng decision. So, yan ang mahirap. So, what, what you, balik ka sa square one. You are, you, you have to start from scratch, no? Na sasabihin mo, meron kaming agreement and hindi tinupad. So, balik ka ulit sa square one. Ang maganda doon kasi, pag part na yan ng decision, hindi ka nababalik sa square one. Sabihin mo, judge, may decision na tayo. Labor arbiter, may decision na tayo. Hindi sila tumupad. Yes. Please execute this. Please enforce this. Yun po ang mangyayari. Pag hindi yan naging part ng decision, balik ka ulit, papayal ka ulit ng complaint. Okay. Thank you so much. Next question. Okay. Here's another question. In terms of employee discipline, in case the employee I made na damage the company property, is the company allowed to deduct the cost of the damage and also to suspend the employee? Uh, so, uh, there are two issues uh, involved. First is the accountability for the losses or damages. And then the second is accountability for violation of company policies. Now, these are two issues that uh, can be considered under one proceedings, one, one, uh, one action against the employee, pero you have to resolve these issues separately. No? But it can be under one decision. No? I mean, you have to take issue number one. Is the employee uh, liable for violation of company policy? If yes... Ano ang sanction? Dismissal? Uh, warning? Suspension ba? So check your company policy kung ano magiging sanction. Then, second issue, accountability. O oh, may losses, may na-damage, may nawala, no? may, may losses yung company. May breakage, wastage, foliage, whatever. No? So may amount involved. Should the employee pay for it? So that's the, that's the second issue. Now, under one process yun, kailangan may due process po. You have to give the employee the opportunity to explain and defend himself. If the employee is able to successfully explain and defend himself, then absuel to po siya. Wala siyang babayaran, hindi rin siya masasanction. So, however, if the employee is found to be, let's say, grossly negligent, which is a violation of company policy, you can impose appropriate uh, disciplinary penalty and also charge the employee for the losses. No? Kasi nakita niyo accountable siya doon. Now, the, the employee can uh, voluntarily pay it or 
kung ayaw niyang voluntarily magpay, the, the decision will uh, will be upheld no against the employee. Ang ano lang is uh, kung hindi ma-dismiss yung employee, hindi pwedeng bawasin kaagad na wala siyang masasweldo. May guidelines diyan ng Department of Labor na dapat uh, up to uh, 20% lang. Kung siya ay, uh, let's say, hindi naman siya ma-dismiss, tuloy-tuloy yung employment niya. Hindi pwedeng uh, wala siyang sesweldo. Hindi bawa naman yung employee, lalo na kung may dependent siya. So it will, it will be several gives until the employee is able to pay for the accountability. Okay, thank you. And I think we're down to our last two questions because of time constraints. But here's the second to the last. This is a question from our Zoom participant, Dennis. If yung CBA hindi po naging okay, pwede po ba mag-file ulit? And kailan po yung span of days or months? Okay, uh, pag ang CBA, ibig sabihin may collective bargaining agreement. Long process po yan ha, bago po uh, maging uh, uh, valid and enforceable ang CBA. As I mentioned earlier, uh, may ratification pa yan of the board of directors of the company, of the membership of the union, uh, has to be notarized and has to be registered with DOLE. Pag na-register na po yan sa DOLE, Yan na po, ano, registered CBA is enforceable na. Ngayon, hindi po yan basta-basta mababago kasi matagal na process po yan bago uh, napagkasunduan, matag- mahaba-habang negotiation. So, of course, both parties may have their uh, complaints. Kasi sabi ko nga, you cannot uh, please everyone. You cannot please everyone. So, may, ma- may mga complaints yan. What can be done is meron naman pong ano yan, there's a, in every CBA, meron po tayong uh, grievance machinery aside from the CBA administration. No? May CBA administration and then may grievance machinery para sa mga disputes na lumaki na, na naging naging grievance. Pero before po yan maging grievance, meron, dumadaan muna po tayo sa CBA administration and dyan po nagaharap yung Tuloy-tuloy po yan. Ha? During the life of the CBA, you have your management representative and you have your union representative and supposed to be dapat nagmi-meeting sila regularly. May regular meeting at least once a month para kumustahan, kumusta ba ang uh, implementation natin ng CBA. And then, uh, yung mga hindi na-resolve dyan, it becomes grievance. So, yun po yan. However, uh, Kung meron po talaga during the CBA administration and during the grievance uh, machinery, may nakita talaga kayong um, uh, pagkukulang sa CBA at saka gusto nyo mabago. Pwede naman po, uh, there are ways and means to improve on the CBA through, through supplemental agreements between the management and the union. Kailangan lang po documenta dyan. It may not be part of the it may not be part of the CBA that's registered with Dole. However, confirmado po yan ng both union and management. It's it's a binding. It's a binding agreement between. Kasi yan yung mga fine-tuning. May, may times na may mga gaps and gray areas and uh, uh, ambiguities yung CBA. And that's the reason why dapat may constant meeting under uh, CBA administration such that itong mga gaps, ambiguities, mga interpretations ay nadudocument ng both sides at meron kayong notes kaya nga document, document, document at kung ano yung nap- napagpirmahan doon ng both sides that's how you interpret the CBA that's how you uh, put, uh, you fill in the gaps no? that's how you fill in the gaps so that the, the CBA could be a, a viable working document na as much as possible masasatisfy both sides Thank you. And down to our last question. This is the question. What are the most required skills that we need to improve based in labor management and negotiations? Ah, okay. Thank you. Pwede nga na yan. Parting, uh, parting, uh, yes. uh, yes. parting message, no? Uh, for me, uh, marami akong discuss, I think, seven yun. No? Yung, yung pang seventh, medyo halo-halo yun. Pero uh, sa akin, no, uh, of all dito is the, ano, yung relationship matters. Mm-hmm. No? Uh, kasi 
yun yung ano eh. That's, that's where it all starts. Yung, although important yung documenting things, important yung having goals, important yung win-win mindset, being creative and everything. Ah, lahat naman yan important eh. Pero sa akin, ang pinaka-heart of an employer-employee negotiation is yung relationship eh. Yung, you, you, balik tayo doon. Uh, since it's Easter, allow me to again repeat the golden rule, di ba? Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. No, I-apply mo lang yung mga universal principles na yan na uh, do unto your employees as would you, you would like your employees to do unto you. Or don't do to your employees what you don't want your employees to do. Don't do under unto you. Gan, gan lang yun, no? O uh, love your neighbor. Imbis na love your neighbor, love your employees as you love yourself, no? Meaning management, meaning the employer. Siyempre, paano mo mamahalin ang sarili mo, di ba? Ganun rin yun. So, just Easter, post-Easter reflection. That's my parting message sa inyo. And I think that's the most important that thing important sila lahat but that's the heart heart of all thank you so much attorney paul aside from the knowledge you also shared words of wisdom to all of our participants maraming maraming salamat for being very generous this afternoon in sharing everything that you've shared with us and because of that we'd like to present you with a certificate so let me just read this Riva Academy Learning Development at its finest gratefully presents a certificate of appreciation to attorney Apollo Sangalang for imparting his professional expertise, valuable insights, knowledge, and wisdom as resource speaker during the conduct of online learning session entitled Negotiation Skills for Labor Relations, Techniques for Successful Collective Bargaining and Conflict Resolution. Given the third day of April 2024 via Zoom conference, signed by J.A. Matienzo, Chairman and Chief Strategist, Learning Event Producer, and Michelle Irish Melanda Samson, President and Chief Learning and Development Strategist. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for our speaker, Attorney Paul Sangala. <laughs> Maraming salamat po ulit, Attorney Paul. Now, before we end our session this afternoon, let us have a group photo with all of our participants. So please, if you're able to, turn on your cameras and join us in this group photo. While we're waiting for everyone to turn on their cameras, again, I'd like to remind everyone for you to really receive your e-certificate, whether you're watching us via Zoom or via the live streams in YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook, all you have to do is make sure you fill out the feedback form. If you're not able to find it, all you have to do is scroll up the chat box. But we also will be posting the link in the chat box in a little while. So just click the link and then fill out the form. And then make sure you submit it back to us. Okay. Also, please make sure that the spelling of your name is correct. Okay. Now we're ready. Let me call on our technical director, Direct Eric. Please help us out. Yes. Thank you so much, Miss Kate. Okay, good day everyone. So we have two chats of group feature for this PM session. Okay, you ready for the first chat, guys? Come on. Okay, can we do two thumbs up? Yes, how about two thumbs up, guys? Okay, here we go. Two thumbs up in three, two, one. Okay, and for our second chat, can we do a hand hearts? Hand hearts or finger hearts? Come on, guys. Show me some love. Okay, here we go. And three. Two, one. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm back to you, Ms. Kate. Thank you so much, Derek, Eric. In behalf of everyone from Ariba Academy, I would like to say thank you to all of our participants in Zoom, in Facebook, in LinkedIn, and in YouTube. Thank you for being with us this afternoon. We're looking forward to welcoming you again in our future learning events. Thank you. Have a great afternoon and God bless everyone. Happy Easter again, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone.
Every coffee needs a lotus. Ariba Academy would like to thank the following win-win partners. Official media partner, Art Clause Magazine. Digital media partners, Focus Media, the largest digital out-of-the-home advertising network in the Philippines. Globaltronics, leading digital innovation. City Advertising Adventures Corporation, we move your brand. Outcome. Elevate Media Arena Academy would also like to thank the following companies. Brother, at your side. Faber Castell. Glutus C. Moringa O2. KFC, it's finger licking good. Mr. Jonas. Tokyo Tokyo. Lotus Biscoff. Finma Properties. Making room to build your future. Creative Voices, Certified Voice Artist Program. Mighty Tech Advertising and Merchandising. Lehardine Printing Services. Purple Rockstar, Be on Top, Stay on Top. Business Mirror, A Broader Look at Today's Business. SMNI, Truth That Matters. Major sponsor, Payday Solutions, a bridge company.